If I create a video because of your comment, I'll give you a shout out. So be sure to let me know in the comments what you'd like to see. In this video, I'm going to go over how to program a button in your robotics project. I'm going to be using an Arduino and the Arduino IDE. Um, I'm not going to be using a pull-up or pull-down resistor. I'm going to be using the programming input pull-up, which is a pull-up resistor that's built into the microcontroller. If you're not sure what I mean by pull-up or pull-down resistor, um, I would recommend that you check out my other video on how to hook up a button um, that would also allow you to learn how to hook up a button with your own pull-up or pull-down resistor. But uh, for simplicity's sake, I just have a button hooked up and I'm going to start programming here. So let's set up our pins. Uh, we'll call this uh, oops, a button pin and that's pin 8. Alright, and then the first thing in our setup is to set up the pins. So pin mode of my button pin. And I'm going to be reading from my button into the microcontroller, so that's going to be set up as an input. But because I don't have my own custom input pull-up resistor, I am going to need to use the keyword input pull-up. Okay, and what this does is it tells the microchip that I want to use the internal pull-up resistor to always make that signal high unless I'm getting some signal from another source. So next step is I'm going to read my button. And I'm just going to store this in a variable. You could do this right inside of the if statement, but I'm not sure how many times I want to read the button or how many times I want to use the status of the current button state. Uh, so what I'm going to do is store this into a variable. Um, I'm using a bool here because a button, in this case I'm using a digital button, or not a digital button, sorry. I'm using a digital pin, so it's either going to be high or low. There's only two states. So it's high or low, which also means true or false. So bool, uh, we'll call it current button state or current state equals, and I'm going to read my digital pin. All right, so then I have that. And then if the current state equals equals, so don't forget to use two equal signs when you're comparing. Uh, one equals for an assignment operator. And I'm going to be looking for a low signal, which is false. Now I could say zero here, and that would work as well. Now I could use, it might be confusing to see that this says false here. Uh, so what I might wanna do just for you know, for reading's sake, as I've mentioned many times before, you should make your code readable by the code itself, If you're not, especially if you're not going to use comments. Uh, you should use comments, but if you're not going to use comments, make sure that your code is readable. Um, so what I'm going to do is just create a bool and call it uh, pressed equals false, because when my button is pressed, I'm going to get a low signal, which is going to be false. And now I don't need to remember whether or not it's false or true. I just say if button equals pressed. So if the button is pressed, I want to print something to my serial monitor. Um, currently, I don't have my serial set up. So I'm going to do that here. Serial.begin. We'll use 115.200 baud. And then I will just simply do a serial.print. Hello. Oh, I'll make that a print line because I want it to move to the next line. OK, um, let me just verify that this works. It does. Um, all right, let's check my port. I'm connected to the right port. And uh, we'll upload this. OK, good. I'm not getting any printouts because I'm not pushing the button. So when I push this button, whoa, OK. Why am I getting all of this? So I pressed it twice, and I seem to have gotten, I don't know, maybe 100 times it printed out. So this is one actually one of the intents of this video. Uh, what happens is this code literally takes microseconds. So what you want is you want to make sure that it's not going to continue to execute while I'm holding the button down during that time. So the first thing you might think is, well, I'll just put in a delay. So, you know, I'll say once the button is pressed, then don't do anything for a half a second or something like that. Or maybe I want to print out immediately after I push the button and then wait a half a second before leaving. Okay, so let's see what this does. Hmm. 
All right. Okay, seems to work. Oh, but there's a problem here. If I push this, one, two, it only printed once. So if I'm actually limiting the, the code in that I can't push this button more than once. And also, on the other hand, if I hold this down, it's just continuing to print every half second. So you can see delays don't really solve the problem here. I mean, they, they kind of do in a way, but they're not solving the problem in an elegant fashion. So what you want to do is kind of think of how you want your code to work. I want to push this button. I want it to print something out, but I don't want it to keep printing out while I'm holding the button. And I also don't want there to be a delay between when I print or when I push the button and when I print. Well, think about what you're saying. While the button is pressed, I don't want to do anything else. I just want to do what it said my button should do when I press it and nothing else. So while being the keyword, so I'm going to use a while loop. So while my button is being pressed, don't do anything else. Okay, and now I can't use current state because that was just a snapshot of the current state of the button at this point in time. So what I need to do is I need to keep taking new readings. So I digital read button pin, oops. And then I'm going to put a comment here. And I'm doing that so that when I look back at this code, you know, this is just a sample code, but if this were actual deployed code, when I look back at this code, I clearly understand that, you know, I left this while loop empty for a reason. And it's so that I do nothing while the button is pressed. So what this is going to do is it's going to, let's walk through this. It's going to check if the button is pressed. If it is, it's going to print out hello. And then if the button is still pressed, it's not going to do anything else, which is exactly what we want. Once I let go, then it's going to move on to the next code. There isn't any next code, so it's going to go back up to loop and repeat. Okay, so that sounds about right. Let's upload it and try it out. Okay, so I have a mistake here. Um, let me take a look back at my code. Okay, here it is. So what I'm doing here is I'm not actually comparing it to anything. I'm not saying if it's pressed. And what happens is when the button is pressed, digital read is coming back as a false. So that's not true. So it's not going into this while loop. It's just skipping right out of it. So I actually made a mistake here. So what I want to do is I want to say if it's pressed. And now this should actually work. So upload. Let's open up the monitor. Okay, this looks much better. So click, click. Click, click and hold. It's doing nothing until I let go and then it allows me to press it again. Now what if I push it two times really fast? One, two. Yep. So it's this this is where I would actually leave it. Um, there is another issue that you might run into with buttons. This one is actually a pretty good button. It's pretty distinct as far as the high versus the low. Uh, there's a thing called hysteresis. I will talk about that more in a different video uh, because that's got a little bit more in-depth detail that I need to go into. Uh, but for the case of simply using a button, um, this is the simplest way is to use an input pull-up. But the problem there is it's going to limit you to input pull-up only. So if you needed a pull-down, then you're going to need to implement your own pull-down resistor. And then here you wouldn't use input pull-up. You would just simply use an input because you're using your own pull-down resistor. That's really all there is. So um, I hope you enjoyed this video. Give me a thumbs up if you did. Um, better yet, leave a comment to let me know if there's something that you want changed or something specifically that you liked about this video. And I'll uh, see you in the next one. Hey everyone, thanks for watching. If you like this video and you want to see more like it, give me a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe.